pin and be good. It's, it has feed in it for my chicks. Well, this is a one day when I'm gonna do this chores by myself. He came out just to help me with the other, the big ones, but he has a big project that's due for his paying gig. And so it's me. Okay, thank you. So we moved the turkeys last night, so I don't have to do that by myself today. And they are um, just gonna be let out today. I'll just make sure they have food and water. I'm gonna adjust one of these, make it lean out the other way. There we go, that's better. That's better. in your pen and be good. Nobody gets out. We'll see. They've been doing really well. They haven't tried to get out. They fly back and forth in their little thing, but nobody's made it off the ground yet. I'm hoping they don't. I don't want to have to deal with that. So now, this is day 28 of the chickens. They are, oh, no it isn't. They're five weeks old today. This is day 35. So, yeah. Five weeks, seven days. Five times seven is 35. Okay, so day 35 of the chicks today and I will go give them feed and move them and give them water. First day to do it by myself. So I'll just set the camera up and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I need to go get some smaller clamps. We've had too big of clamps on some of them and my hands just can't do it. So smaller clamps.
variety. Wow, you guys really took this down. 24 hours. So we'll put the sideways wheels on and push them that way a little bit later today when I have help. All right. Look at that. You grass. You okay, Steve? Boy, they are super good foragers. They, the one thing I didn't like about this breed or about raising chickens like this is when you put the feed in they just ravenous just like almost smother each other trying to get it so we decided to put bigger feeders in instead of the troughs and keep them round and full and there always is feed in there and so they're not ravenous and they're foraging everything down so I'll show you what they did in the last 24 hours. Um, I, I've got a shadow here, so I don't know if you can actually see how well mark the shadow down versus, don't, don't look at the shadow, but like here is grass where they're just on now, and there's where they came from yesterday. Now these, guys didn't do as much. Remember they were in their roosts more than the others, but boy they're foraging now. See that? Forage, forage, forage. The more green grass they take in, the better for our budget and the better for our tummies. be one of the first days that they haven't had they haven't started right down in this shade but I think one of the good things is we have this very large tree above them and when the heat of the day comes it'll be shading them here now when they get out here a little bit further there will be days without shade but that's the beauty of the white cloth and they will be moved up to the side of the house and then over this whole pasture will be theirs that they'll be moved around in so that's good where you see the road that part is for the turkeys this part is for the chickens so that they never cross and are in the same area there's a little thing that says recording recording can you see us? Do I we can need to bend down. No, nope, you can see okay. ya. Today we're gonna put we're gonna put we're it gonna to work. We're gonna demonstrate it. I mean, if the theory is we can do this, we've never done it. No, we're gonna do it on camera. So if we're totally wrong, you can laugh at us. If we're totally right, you can cheer with us because the idea works. It's gonna make these so much easier. We're not gonna have to turn them around and all that stuff. So what it's we're great. gonna do is. Take the wheels from the front to back and put it, put it side, side to side. side. Right? Okay, okay let's, let's do it. it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Set. Oh, sweetness. Okay, that's all the further we need to go. That's it. Oh, that was like...
too easy. That was like butter. That's going to make it easy. Oh, my word. Because what we're going to do, we're, we got a ways to go down here, not far, a couple of days, and then we're going to shift them both. Sideways. So we're going to go then, two spaces to the side. And then, then we start coming back this way to the and street. Then two spaces to two the Two spaces. Side. So I don't know. We got plenty of room. We got plenty. I mean, let, let me. I, I showed them this morning. Oh, okay. Then you've already seen. Yeah. You've already seen. And I showed them the turkey area and the chicken area. So, and if we have to go to another area, we roll to another area. But this should be enough. What's the matter? What are you doing? You got a little thing hanging down. Okay. <laughs> so we got an, we ha, how many weeks do we have to do this? Like six. Six weeks. Okay. We may run. We out. may be over here we may by go. then. Okay. We'll see. The It'll be good. They'll have plenty of green grass to eat, uh, as long as we get a little more rain. So we'll see how that goes. We don't get a lot of rain. This is Oregon, but come June, a little bit of rain, July, it stops. Uh, it stops. It stops. And, and it so starts th again in September. I mean, it stops. So things start to get dry, <laughs> hot and dry. Um, and so we wanted, the timing on these chicks aren't exactly perfect. Uh, we may have to do a little more supplementing at the well, end. Well, they get processed August 1st. Yeah, so It'll be okay. it's not perfect. 